Here are my patrons on Team Almond, Team Wallace, and Team Bumble, which are the three highest tiers in my Patreon. As I do every month, I'm going to show you some of their spreads that they posted on Instagram and comment on them. And then I'm going to make a spread inspired by one of their spreads. So hang out and check out some of these amazingly talented individuals. Okay, how happy is this? It is so happy and there's so much yellow in here and lots and lots of stickers. It's stickery and happy. I love it. Everyone should make a self-care page once in a while. And I love pages, page, <laughs> pages, page. I love the colors. And I think these are Live Love Posh stickers. I love having a page where you can just refer to when you need some self-care. And this is really cute. Okay, plan, create, decorate. You know I always wanted to do that with the strips, right? Except I wasn't going to put space between them. That's really cool. I really like that. Don't be afraid to use like all the stickers on a page at once, you guys. Marisol, you keep outdoing yourself. This one is so, so cute. I saw this on Instagram earlier. Oh my gosh. I love how Minnie's just kind of throwing summer and then Mickey's catching fall. I don't know how he can catch all those stickers. There's so many. Every month I have a challenge on my Patreon and this month was life's an adventure and I love seeing how everyone kind of interpreted it differently. Megan was going on a work trip and she used a bunch of the new Happy Planner sticker books to create this adventure spread. It is so cute. I love the colors here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute with that big haunted house. I totally want to do something like that. It's really spooky and cute. I love this super fun fall spread. There's animals in here, you guys. Wait, how many? I only see a cat. There's only one cat. That's Sammy, Sammy the cat. I really like what Erica did here. It's so hard to decorate the teacher layout. It really, really is because you need the space in the little boxes and it's hard to decorate in the middle there. But Erica put a whole bunch of florals and leaves all along the outside and then put boxes to match. I think it's Kel of a plan. That's really cute. There are leaves blowing around Colleen Plans' October spread. And I'm all for it. I love putting a whole bunch of um, stickers kind of through the middle diagonally. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. But yeah, that is so cool. And I like that little remember sticker thrown in there. A couple of those. Chantelle and Chaos created such a cute plant spread. Very, very stickery, but super functional too. I think those are Live Love Posh stickers, maybe. I don't know. It's really cute. I love that plum colored washi tape. I love bringing in the squad girls in the fall. And let's face it, okay, all the seasons, but the squad girls in the fall are so cute when they play in the leaves, I can't handle it. I use them pretty much every year. And I also love putting them on washi tape. So this one is super cute. And it's a skinny classic, which they're really hard to decorate. So good job. Lots of autumn vibes here. I love the ripped washi tape and these colors. I do believe that is Kelowa Plan because I used those stickers before. Really cute color combo for autumn. Fruit. I love fruit in my planner. This is so cute with the apples and the pink flowers. I just love that color combo too. So it's very soft and pretty and it just sort of leads us right into fall, don't you think? Look at this one. This is so fun. It's only about two to three colors and it really really works i love the clusters of boxes with the leaves around them it's kind of a nice transition into fall because it's bright colors my patron sarah unfortunately lost her husband last year and she was having a little bit of trouble with my challenge this month because life does not feel like an adventure to her but she used the feels like sunshine sticker book to bring in some sort of self-care stickers right and i love those it's okay stickers um so i think that was appropriate for sarah this month and i love the spread i really really do it's very well balanced i love the black boxes in there really cute a plus plans is ready for fall with those gorgeous florals by live love posh Nice color combo, so hard to decorate the dashboard, but she nailed it. I think this is really soft and pretty. I love this nurse plans' interpretation of our challenge, Life is an Adventure. 
I think this is adorable. You know, I love those photo stickers, right? And um, I love how they're all diagonal. It feels adventurous to me. It just feels adventurous. Oh, look, another skinny classic. Okay, the squirrel, or is that a chipmunk? That's Bethany. And then Fred is the fox, but the owl is Olivia. And the three of them live in harmony in this fantastic little skinny classic spread by M. Fackenthal. They're living their fall adventures. That's what they're doing. There's so much style in this one. I really like it. Fall Icons is a really cute sticker book from Kelleva Plan. And I love this theme in that sticker book because there's a dog in there. And that is, oh my gosh, the first, no, the first thing that came to mind. No, I can't. All right. <laughs> it's not good. Bozo. I'm sorry, Kayla. I'm so sorry. But this spread is really, really cute with the oranges and the dog and the leaves. It just feels so, I don't know, fall-like, right? <laughs> I like it. Another summer to fall spread by doing plans. And I love all of the tiny little stickers. She got inspiration from my summer to fall spread. And I just think this one's so cute. It kind of goes down the diagonal and it must have taken you forever doing plans. <laughs> it must have taken you so long, but it's cute. This spread's so adorable and it's lined up really, really well. I just love how it's situated. You know what I mean? So Sparkle Dot Plans used the new Holly Yeh's sticker book for this one. And she used my favorite sticker, that girl in the middle with her boots. Look at this one. This is really cute. The My Bee Project. She put pets in with flowers. You know I'm all about that, right? I've done that before. I love, love, love that. I'm not naming all those dogs. That is too many to name, all right? It's just too many. Sorry. This one is really cute and whimsical. And I think these are stickers from Planet Darby. And if you haven't checked her out, you can go check her out. Um, she's really good. And uh, her stickers are really cute. And I love that soft pink color and the little abstract doodly things. That's my technical term, doodly things. Abstract doodly. Yeah, I really like this one. Speaking of Planet Darby, I believe these are her flower stickers. Oh my gosh, look at this spread. This was the Crafter Mom's 11th wedding anniversary. So I don't know if those were her wedding colors or not, but that's such a cute spread for an anniversary. Loads of flowers in this one. And I think it's so cool because they're fall flowers. Bring them all in. I say put flowers in your spreads all year long. I do it all year long. This is very fall-like and really, really pretty. And it uses some of the stickers from the new Fall Harvest sticker book. So it's really cute, Jen. I really like this. Um, so stickery, right? So, so stickery, but you know I'm all for that. And there's still plenty of room to write. This is just adorable. And I love that Wild Plans sticker book. So it really appeals to me. I won't name the birds, but I'll name the other two. That's Peggy on the left. And Byron is the zebra on the right. Unless you already named them Stop Planner Time. Maybe you did. If not, those are their names. Remember when I did a Winnie the Pooh spread? This one's so cute with all those balloons. And of course, Happy Planner and most other sticker companies do not have Winnie the Pooh stickers, but Plan Me Out with Jen printed them out online. I think it's really a fun monthly spread. Those were all so good and so inspiring, weren't they? So be sure if you liked some of those spreads, check them out on Instagram if you're on there and give them a follow. And while you're there, if you're not following me, hey, you can do that too. But, um, but yeah, check them out because there's some really talented individuals in my Patreon. It was hard to choose because I was inspired by so many of those, but I decided that I was going to do a spread similar to Erica. That's Erica.Hall19. She's actually a friend of mine. And when I saw her spread, I thought, I'm gonna do a monthly spread that's kind of like her teacher spread because it's the end of the month and I'm running behind because I did that craft room video and uh, that was a lot of work. So I'm running a little behind and I thought I would do something a little bit easy this month. And I also thought I would decorate my classic because I don't always decorate the monthly in my classic because it's, um, it's my journal. So I thought it'd be fun to do that this month. Anyway, I will stop talking. I'm gonna use the same florals as Erica used in her spread. Seasonal Florals Volume 2 by Kelleva Plan. These guys, yeah. And 
I'm just gonna kind of put them around and make it just easy and simple and, um, and quick, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and white out notes. We know they're notes, Happy Planner. We know they're notes. All right, so this sticker book's really cute, and there's just these simple florals, very easy to use and quick, like I said. So let's get to it. Look at these, oh my gosh. I might use some of those too. So when you're using florals like this on your monthly, it's very easy to just fill up your sidebar and make it super pretty. Unless you use your sidebar, in which case don't do this, do it your own way, but. <laughs> um, I don't typically use my sidebar and especially not in my journal because I don't, like I said, I don't usually use my, oh wait, should I put it over October? I don't think so. Um, I don't know why I whispered that, sorry. Awkward. It's like five o'clock and I should be done work, but I wanted to finish this video today. So I'm just gonna do this quick and show you that you can too. Is there more of these florals or just that? There's, oh, that's so pretty. Um, let's just continue. I'm gonna rip that page out. I'm gonna get my tweezers too. All right. So Erica kind of just had them all around. Actually, I think she had it cut at the line if I remember correctly. So maybe I should do that too since this is an inspiration video and all. Let's do that. I should have probably stuck to the bigger florals, actually. Well, let me put the one in the corner there first and see how I feel. Because I could put the smaller ones up top here, I think, you know? That would make more sense. All right, I'm gonna take this one off. Ooh, that came off really easy. I'm gonna use it up at the top, like I said. But, okay, let's get this one and put that one in the middle part. That's what's so great about these really large stickers is you can just put them down and not worry so much, you know, about placement or anything because it's gonna be pretty like so. And they really pack a punch, you know what I mean? I cut around this part here. Now Erica has a couple of boxes from the Kelova Plan sticker book in her layout, but this is my journal and I don't, I'm not gonna use it for appointments. So I might put some decoration in the middle and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet. I may not even use it. I may just make it pretty. I don't know. I don't know. Oh look, here's a bigger one like that. That could go up here somewhere, right? Maybe in the middle part. There's a hair there. Ew. Ah, I didn't do that right either. It's just a cat hair, it's not a people hair. For some reason that makes it better, you know? Oh, and by the way, I just wanna apologize for not having Bumble in these videos lately. I'm so sorry. I know a lot of you wanna see her and I just cut my page, cool. But uh, yeah. She just doesn't come down here very often, and then I forget, but I will try. I'll try to bring her in because I know this is her channel, and, and now I feel weird that it's called Planning with Bumble and you don't even see her much anymore. I know you like that, so I will try. If not, I'll try to maybe throw in some little clips, you know, some Bumble breaks here and there with her in it because I have, have taken some cute videos lately. Okay, here's a crocodile punch. I'm just gonna punch out this hole here like that. And whoops, this side. And that's like wrong at the top. Let's switch it. And I just punched it. Good one, Mary Ellen. Now we can fill this part in with the smaller ones up top, I think. Quick and easy. Should I wait out 2022 or just leave it there? Uh-oh, ripped off Saturday. Let's pull it from the other side. <laughs> Oops, it came off easy on the other side over here because that paper's a little different, you know, in the monthly. 
because it's the back of the divider. So yikes. Awkward. Oh, that's so awkward. Look at it. Well, you know, such is life. That's something I probably would have been upset about like three years ago. If I made a YouTube video and I ripped something like that, I'd be like, oh no, they don't. Not that I gave it too much thought, but I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to be an expert. And here I did, rip, I went and ripped my page on camera. What do they think? I don't care though now. I don't, just really don't because I'm just showing what happens to all of us, you know? And that is something that happens to us all. I, I can guarantee you everybody rips their page. And if you don't, please let me know how you don't rip their, your page. And I'm gonna rip this one too. Oh no, I didn't rip it, yay. That's a little awkward right there. We'll throw in another flower. I just want to kind of mimic Erica's page, right? She, I know she had a lot of florals on there, so. I always feel like when I do these kind of videos and I'm, I'm doing like one thing like that, that it maybe is a boring video. Is it? <laughs> Let me know. I don't want it to be boring. And then sometimes I feel super entertaining and other times it's just wah wah, you know? Those are the breaks. Sometimes you get entertaining Mary Ellen and sometimes you get, you know, normal Mary Ellen. You just never know what you're gonna get here on my channel. Is that the fun of it or not? I don't know. Okay, that looks cute. I kind of want to put more over here because I think Erica had it like all the way to the, the edge. Maybe I can salvage this a little bit by cutting around these florals. I know my, my scissors, I still haven't cleaned them. Can you believe it? One day soon though, it's going to just, they're going to be magically clean and you're going to be shocked at how clean they look. And they're not going to look like that. I don't know when it's going to be, but Stick around and then you'll find out when it is if you're, if you're worried about it, which you probably are not. This won't even fit anywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe I can twist it. Let's get it twisted a little, you know, like that. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's gonna look kind of odd. Oh no. I could just do that. <laughs> and just layer them. Let me see if I could do something with this. Oh, that looks good. All right, all right. That looks pretty good. I don't know about this monstrosity up there. It's like kind of weird. Let's put a little piece here. Very nice, very nice. And do I have any more? No, so. This is gonna have to do. That's just gonna be the way it is forever in my planner, you know? I think that's okay. You can barely tell. I don't like these little spaces either. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna embrace it. I could put some boxes or something, but I don't know if I'm gonna write in it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So I could put little confettis. <laughs> Let's put confettis on it. That'll solve the problem. <laughs> when in doubt, throw some bullet points down. I call them confettis, but we know that they're actually bullet points. I always look for little stickers, you know, to fill little spaces. That's kind of cute, actually. Is it or isn't? I mean, maybe it's not. I think it is though. I think it's kind of cute. Some little polka dots. Let's take one off the page. I mean, why not? I mean, that's kind of fun. Like a, a fall confetti look, you know? We could put a couple up here. We're not gonna do a lot because I don't have money. I hardly have any left unless there's more on another page. No, that's not a couple. 
There's a couple. Oh, you guys, I didn't know there was another page of those. And these are big. That would have been cute. Oh well, I'm not gonna stress about it. There's a few more on this page too. So let's do a couple of confetti thingamabobs up here. Sort of fun, festive, festive fall party. That's what I'm gonna call this, festive fall party. Yeah. Erica, I'm sorry, I know you didn't have these on your spread, but all I have is brown left. Is there another page? I forget. Yeah, there's a little more. Um, yeah, I know you didn't have any of these on yours. I'm doing it a little different because I had weird spaces, you know. Ooh, let's take one like this. This one. Wait, I gotta write down the, the title before I forget. Have any of you started naming your spreads since you've seen me do it? Wait, festive fall party, did I say that? I don't think party's the right term. Festive fall, um, I'll, well, I'll say party because I don't wanna take up your time. Two exclamation points. Um, yeah, I'd like to know, leave a comment if you have started naming your spreads because I would love it if I started a trend like that. <laughs> Unless other people were doing it. I just had never heard of anyone doing it. So like that would be really fun for me if I knew I started a trend. So well, let me know. Or maybe you were doing it before me and I didn't know it. Let me know that too. I promise my feelings won't be hurt. Let's cut, put a couple of these in and then we'll be done. How about a sock, you know? <laughs> a sock, because it matches the florals. Yeah. I'm not gonna white out, I'm not gonna white out the lines. If it were a patron spread, I would, but I don't really have time for that, you know? I don't really care that much, so I'm not gonna do it. But you know, if you wanna white out lines and stuff, you know, if you put this in and you have time, I'd probably recommend whiting out a little bit underneath. Oh my gosh, wait. It is gonna drive me crazy if I cover the numbers and they're not whited out. That would kind of annoy me, I think. So where is my white out? I just wanna at least do that. The lines don't bother me, the numbers probably would. Um, let's see. Wait, are these for winter? Wait a minute. <laughs> or they fall? Because there's an ice skate there. Now I'm confused. I think they're fall. Yeah, okay. All right. I didn't want to like put winter. I think they may be fall and winter. I'm not sure. This matches the florals. I don't think I want to use it though. Let's use another sweater and a boot. Let's white out this number. Yes, there's lines in it. Embrace the lines. All right. Don't fret. A boot. <laughs> sure. Let's put some animal slippers in here. I'm not naming the animal slippers because they're not real animals. Come on. That's on the 25th. It really shouldn't be because it's the same color as that. It should be up at the top, but I don't care. It's cute. Um, what's this? Little journals or something? Let's put those on. All right, that's kind of cute. These feel wintry. Um, maybe a blanket. This one. I'll put it right here. Again, don't know why I'm whispering. All right, there are some little cute fall quotes too. Let's check those out in here. This book's falling apart. I think I've used it too much. Let's put one like maybe up here or something. I like this one. Give me all the fall things. There. And then maybe we'll put one more on another one. How about flannels, boots, and bonfires? Okay, I lied. One more quote. We're gonna do another color. Maybe this one. 
there's no time like fall. It's kind of big, but that's okay. We'll put it on the line. We're just gonna be rebels, or I am, because you're not really here, but you are, but you're not, you kind of are. That shouldn't go right there, I don't think, but I am gonna leave it because I'm not gonna stress, I'm not gonna fret with um, my spread because it's a festive fall party and I don't care. Um, and also ripped Saturday, don't care. Anyway, it's really cute though. I think I will use this. Um, it's in my journal, so what I may do is some sort of uh, self-care type thing because I didn't start my self-care planner yet. I don't know if I'm gonna wait until January and probably not, I'll probably do it before that, but I could maybe put some things in here um, pertaining to my goals for October that we talked about in the currently page video. If you didn't see that, you can go back and watch. But yeah, I think this is a cute one. Thanks Erica for the inspiration. I'm gonna put Erica's spread up on the screen now so you can see both. I'm gonna try to move this over so I can do it easier. Maybe I'll do it like this. So there's room for Erica's spread. There we go. So there's mine and Erica's. Don't forget to give her a follow. And thanks for watching today. I will see you in my next one. Have a good one. Bye.